All right, great morning, everybody. Uh, God bless you. Welcome this morning. We want to welcome you uh, to this morning's broadcast. Uh, we just bless God for the opportunity uh, to be with you today on this fantastic Friday. It's Friday, uh, the 18th of October, and it truly is uh, a privilege to be alive and with you this morning. I want to welcome you to this morning's broadcast, uh, Revelation Moment. I want to say hello to everyone. Hello to those that are tuning in with us and that have gathered live this morning with our Facebook group, Revelation Moment with Jermaine T. Johnson. Go ahead and invest and invite. God bless you, uh, everyone, uh, for tuning in today in Jesus' name. Uh, we want to thank God for this morning. Thank God for this day. Thank Him for this opportunity. Wherever you are, if you're thankful this morning and you're joining us, and you are grateful for this morning, just go ahead and put hashtag thankful. Uh, it's Friday, and not just Friday, but it is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad, and I want to welcome everybody uh, that's watching us from the Atlanta area, those that are in Georgia, those that are in Florida, uh, Miami, those that are in South Carolina, North Carolina. We want to welcome everybody this morning. Great blessings to you. I'm glad to see you on today and tuning in live. I welcome you uh, in the precious, mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is power in the name of Jesus. And so as you're watching today, as you're tuning in, know this, that God has included you in his plan. You're not forgotten. And so this is a faithful Friday where God will show himself faithful and strong. And so we want to welcome you into this morning. Welcome uh, Pastor Leroy Taylor. Welcome uh, Fatima Taylor. God bless you, Brian, Leslie, and everybody that's tuning in. Evangelist Finch, good morning to you, Joshua. Uh, go ahead and invest and invite uh, this broadcast this morning. Uh, it would do us a great honor if you will partner with us uh, to spread and to courage this morning. Uh, good morning to you, Tanya. Good morning, uh, Chanel. Good morning, Malia. God bless you, Malia. Welcome, Malia and Malene, as you're tuning in today. If you're thankful for today, go ahead and put hashtag thankful. Uh, let's get something going today. It's truly a privilege uh, to be again on your timeline and begin in the morning with you if you're on your way to the gym if you're coming from the gym if you're at the gym if you're on your way to boot camp whatever you're doing today uh, we pray that everything you do it you do it as unto the lord and we pray your strength today the bible says uh, when we are weak he has made us strong and so if you're thankful for this morning let's begin by declaring and decreeing that this morning i am grateful i am thankful uh, it's a privilege and an honor to be alive, and uh, it's truly a privilege and an honor uh, to be with you here on this broadcast um, this morning. Uh, we've made it through another week, and here we are on our fifth day of the week. Uh, this is where we want you to invest, invite, and introduce someone uh, to Revelation Moment. If you've got a family member and friend uh, who has not joined yet, we want to invite you <coughs> Excuse me, uh, to invite and in, uh, invest and to encourage uh, that's what we like to do. Encourage somebody to watch with you. Or if you're willing, host a watch party. Uh, it'll do us a great uh, uh, honor and a privilege uh, to be able to be hosted by you. Uh, and so if you are willing to host Revelation Bowman, go ahead and hit that purple popcorn bucket and have a watch party this morning. And again, we thank you for uh, joining us. Let's jump right into this morning. Great morning. Everybody, Kimia, uh, Karen, uh, Carla. Uh, everybody that's tuning in, welcome this morning. We're so glad uh, that you have chosen to join us today. And again, this is Pastor Jay, and uh, I'm honored to be on your timeline, wherever you are today, in your news feed. It is truly a blessing uh, to have you to be a part of this group. want to welcome the thousand plus uh, partners, members, friends, and those that believe in Revelation Moment. This is a time for you. Good morning, Tracy. Uh, good morning, Felicia, Cake Lady Bass. Good morning, everyone. Again, in South Florida, Miami, wherever you are, Dade County. I uh, want to welcome you today in Dade County, Florida. I pray that the weather is wonderful wherever you are. And if it's raining, uh, the sun will come out soon and very soon. But bless you. Let's again invest, invite and involve somebody in your morning. Good morning, Jessica. Jessica, God bless you um, this morning. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in. If you're watching, I want to thank you, everybody, for uh, your your consistency in joining us and sharing with us and all of those that have partnered with us 
uh, through this week. If you've been receiving and been blessed by the word, uh, let us know uh, your testimony or your encouragement encourages us uh, to keep, keep going. And uh, if you would like to see more uh, of our broadcast in this group, let us know. Uh, we're working on a gathering, uh, maybe coming to a city near you. Maybe uh, definitely I know in 2020 we're going to come and just have a, a, a revelation moment gathering in Miami, South Florida, somewhere in the Broward area soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. But we are definitely looking uh, to have a gathering uh, in January in Atlanta. So stay tuned for that information. We just trying to finalize uh, where we're going to meet at somewhere in the city uh, just for a Friday night and Saturday morning gathering. So stay tuned for that. All right. Bless you as you tune in. Welcome this morning again. If you're just joining us, Father, we thank you. And we bless you for this morning. I thank you for every person that is watching, that is tuning in, that is listening. Lord, we thank you for those partners, those family members, those friends uh, that have uh, decided to join us each and every day. And as we begin our morning, we invite you in. We invite you into this day. We invite you into this moment. And I pray right now uh, for every family that's connected. We want to pray this morning for Claudia's um, father this morning. Claudia is on with us today. And uh, yesterday, just got a, a word to pray for her father. Uh, Claudia, uh, can you just post your father's first name? And that way, everybody can pray in agreement with you this morning. Good morning, Felicia. Good morning, Stephanie, Cynthia, James, uh, Carolyn from North Carolina. Welcome, everybody. Um, but Claudia, go ahead and if you can, post us your father's name. Got a, 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 a message to pray for him yesterday. And um really uh, was revived. His heart was restored, but we want to pray uh, for his entire being today. And so I just specifically want to pray on this morning um, for you, you and your family for strength, Claudia, and also for your father today. I believe uh, that God is not finished and we believe in miracles. We believe in the power. There it is. Oh, is that OVL? OVL. Uh, Veles Velasquez OVL is that am I saying it right OVL O V I E L uh yes and so we pray this morning can I say for for Papa O I'm gonna just say it like that just for uh just for me to be able to pray and say it right right so everybody we want to pray for Claudia and her family but most of all her father Papa O all right so father we thank you this morning uh, for the opportunity to come together and pray. And this morning, we just lift uh, lift up Claudia and her family, and we pray for her father, uh, Papa. We call his name before you, Father. We lift him up, and we thank you for the life that you've given him, and we thank you for the strength that you've given him uh, to live and to continue to overcome uh, even uh, that which we all will face. So, Father, we pray right now that he will live, that he will be strengthened, that his organs, his body will function according to your word, according to the original design that you have created him to live in. And so we just lift up his family. We lift up his daughters, his sons. We lift up those that are connected to him today. And we pray for Claudia for strength. We pray for peace. We thank you for her uh, being, you are our sister, Claudia, so you're connected to this family. So we're covering you and your family today with strength, with love, and with peace in Jesus' name. Uh, we pray, we declare that right now. We lift up uh, uh, the Cummings family. We lift up those that have lost loved ones and those that are bereaving. Father, we pray for strength in their lives, and we lift up every city today. I uh, want to pray for you as a business owner. If, if you're a business owner, we pray right now in Jesus name uh, that father, you would be magnified in that business, that you will begin to bring customers, contracts, and that you will bring conclusion to deals that may be on the table. Father, every real estate deal, father, I pray for those um, that have real estate contracts on the table. Uh, we pray right now that there won't be any setbacks, any delays. Father God, we pray right now for the closing attorneys. We pray for the documents uh, to be aligned and in place this morning. And Lord, we thank you today for the great work that you are doing uh, in all of our lives today. Father, I pray for those that are listening, that are watching, that are connecting with us in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you, Father, for uh, this broadcast and this morning. And we give you glory and honor. Uh, and Capri, I see you this morning praying for, I saw a message in reference to your grandson if I'm correct. So Father, we lift up every young person right now in Jesus' name. 
um, that may have a legal situation, uh, that may have a court case, that may have something going on. There's a I got a lot of requests this week for uh, uh, cases and legal situations concerning young people. And so I just pray this morning for those uh, that may have a case, those that may be looking for uh, favor in the court. I pray this morning for you and your family. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Again, God bless you everybody. Welcome. Let me jump right into this. And I want to let you know, I uh, just woke up this morning with this thought on my mind. And I want to really uh, spend some time to just share this with you and not try to be excited. But I'm glad that you're joining in and tuning. If you're joining in and tuning uh, with us live this morning, make sure you invest, invite, and involve somebody in this morning's broadcast. And if you're watching the replay, thank you so much for hitting hashtag replay. If you're thankful for this morning, hit hashtag thankful so that we'll know that you're great and glad. Good morning, Jason. God bless you. Jason Baldwin, good morning, Alexandria. We welcome you this morning. And we're praying for you today if you're watching and tuning in. But uh, this is your launch time. Your launch time is now. Uh, I want to say that to you today. I believe that this is not just the end of the week, but it's the beginning of a new season and time. And we just want to declare over you today and come in agreement that it is your launch time. It is your time uh, to launch out into the deep. And so uh, this morning, I want to give you a scripture from... Luke chapter 5 verse 4 in the New King James, very familiar passage if you read your Bible and you heard this story of Jesus getting into the boat and uh, really encouraging us to launch out into the deep. This is a red letter message. I love red, red letter messages out of the Bible mean more than anything because that means the Lord is speaking. If you ever want a prophetic word, read the red letters in your Bible if you have them. Red letter livers are understanding what the Lord is saying and to give you understanding of the times. Great morning, everybody. Welcome. I want to share something with you uh, concerning your launch time. You're in your launch time. The countdown is now. There's a clock today that by the time um, some of you that haven't stepped out of your door, some of you that have, uh, but I just believe that um, uh, by this time, in another hour, you will be in another place. And I just want to speak that, that you build an expectation. Good morning, Alejandro. God bless you, sir. Welcome this morning. Uh, Luke chapter 5, verse 4. Listen what it says. When he had stopped speaking, he said to Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. Now, I don't know anybody. If you're looking for a word this morning, I pray that this word will begin to uh, resonate in your spirit. Is anybody ready for their launch? <laughs> Is anybody ready? Let's go back and walk through this this morning, and I'm going to give you some points, and, and I'm going to I pray that this settles in you. Good morning, Ray Nod. Good morning, everybody, as you're tuning in. Lori, welcome this morning. Luke chapter 5, verse 4 in the New King James, it says, When he had stopped speaking, I'm going to tell you this. Good morning, George. Bono Safiwi. I um, want to welcome you this morning. Um, the word says it very clearly. When he had stopped speaking, sometimes, you know, we're always looking for God to speak. But what happens when he stops speaking? After he stops speaking, there should be an activation. Most activation is required after the word of God. The word of God is quick. It's powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. Well, the word of God is your countdown to your launch. After you get a word, let me tell you this. After you've heard the word, there should be some type of action. And listen, I love this because this is what he said when he stopped speaking. Sometimes you got to understand this. When, when God is speaking, he may be speaking to a people. He may be speaking to a a, a culture, he may be speaking to a nation, but when he stops speaking, how many of you know there's a word of activation? That word of activation today is for all of us in our if you're if you're watching this right now, wherever you are, I want to tell you there are some things that the, let me say this that the Lord has been speaking concerning your life. You just got to be in a position to hear. You got to be in a, a position to hear. You got to be in this position to hear. You got to be in a position a posture and a purpose position posture and purpose there's a difference right your position does not determine your posture all right 
So see, you can be a chief, but have a different posture, right? So your position and your posture will determine your purpose. I'm going to say it again. And so when he had stopped speaking, in other words, I'm not talking to everybody because I'm about to activate somebody. So when he stopped speaking to everybody, that's why the Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. The chosen are chosen for a launch. I'm going to say it again. The chosen are chosen for activation. Good morning, everybody. Greetings to you. Good afternoon, wherever you are. We welcome you into this launch room. I just declare over you today that God is going to launch you into a place. I believe, Claudia, that God is launching you into another place of trusting him, believing in him. All things work together for the good, for those that love the Lord and those that are getting ready to be launched for his purpose. And that's the Jermaine Johnson version. I'm going to say it again. All things work together for the good, for those who are called and for those that are launched for his purpose. And so when he stops speaking in your life, you need to get ready. If you haven't been hearing God, good morning, Francisco, wherever you are, brother, on the West Coast, we welcome you this morning. Good morning, Gail. Good morning, everybody that's tuning in with us. Malcolm and Sandra, Rebecca, God bless you today. Rebecca, uh, Eric, Valerie, everybody that's tuning in. We are just welcome into your launch time, your launch season. You need to declare this today. Get this in your belly. Get this in your spirit that God is getting ready to launch me. And when he launched, it comes from him. Stop speaking. Some of you don't realize you haven't heard God because you haven't moved on what he spoke in the last season. And so sometimes God is speaking to you, but he has to stop so that you can launch. Right. And he says to Simon and he's saying to you, you need to put your name where it says Simon. And he said to Jermaine. Yeah, he's saying to Eric, he's saying, come on, to Cynthia. He's saying this morning to you, Cherie. He's saying this morning to Lisa, Alpha, Francisco, good morning. Uh, he's saying it to Gail. He is saying to you, launch out. Launch out into the deep. In other words, don't be shallow in your thinking. Some of you have been sitting by the edge waiting for the waters to proceed, waiting for the waters to go down. That's why we love to say your Red Seas are open because it takes you to have a launch mentality. It takes you to step out. Good morning, Al. We're praying for you and the brothers of uh, this morning in the mission. We're praying for all of the brothers that are in Sebring that are with you and around you. Al, we welcome you this morning, brother, and we appreciate what you're doing and who you are. And so we're praying this morning that as God is speaking to you, is speaking to the brothers that may be listening, uh, that may be tuning in. If you're in the mission and you can hear me, uh, we just declare that God wants to launch you out into a deep place, a deeper place in him. And I love this because when you think about the word launch, the word launch, uh, it means to lead up, uh, lead upon. It doesn't mean just to uh, move out into the water, but it also means to thrust. And so what he's saying here to Simon and he's saying to you, thrust out into the deep. In other words, stop walking in fear. Stop second guessing. No matter what your past was like, no matter what your record is like, no matter what somebody told you you couldn't do. It's not about your gender. It's not about your education. It's about the word. Once the word has been spoken to you, do you know the word is still waiting for you to launch? Some of you, you've gotten the prophetic word. Some of you, you've gotten the instructions. Some of us, we've gotten the direction of the Lord. The, the Bible says it very clearly. The steps of a good man. It didn't say a perfect man. It didn't say a holy man. It just said a good man. In other words, if there's any ounce of goodness in your heart, if there's any, come on, if there's any acknowledgement of the Lord being in your life, then how many of you know your steps are ordered for the launch? Somebody say this. It's my time to launch. It's my time to launch. I'm going to launch out of the place of depression. I'm going to launch out of the out of the place of come on of lack. I'm going to launch out of the place of just being normal. God never created you to be normal. Let me say it again. It's not about your title. It's not about where you live, but it's about who you are. It's your identity in Christ. You were made in his image. Oh, glory to God. I want to say this this morning. You were made in the image of God. And so I want to say to you, why are you still there? Why are you still in that place? The four lepers said, why must we stay here and die? Oh my gosh. 
I'm going to tell you, you're not going to die in your desert. You're going to, you're not going to die in your depression. You're not going to die in your dis-ease. Some of us have been, good morning E-class. Some of us have been sitting in the place of dis-ease. And because you've been in a place of dis-ease, I'm saying to you, the word is saying to you, the Lord is stop. He has stopped speaking now. Oh my gosh. Now he's activating. So come on. The countdown has begun. Five, four, three, two, one. The launch is in place this morning. He wants to launch you out and he wants to launch you out, not launch you in. Anything that launches in causes destruction. Mm. In other words, you're not going anywhere as long as you stay in. What am I saying? He wants to move you out. You got to understand this progression is for moving out. The kingdom of God advances every day. Whether you're with the kingdom or not, the kingdom is advancing. It's expanding. It's stretching beyond its territory. It's stretching beyond its thought pattern. And so Jesus said to Simon and he's saying to you this morning, launch out into the deep. And then he says, launch out and let down. Let down your nets for a catch. Now, I asked the question this morning, what is your deep? Where is the deep place for you? You know, the deep is your extreme. The deep is your over, above, and beyond. What is it that you need to launch out? See, your faith is the activation. It's the ignition. Oh, my gosh. It's the igniting of your launch. Some of you won't get the promotion until you launch in your mind. Some of you won't get the breakthrough until you launch in your mind. See, the battle is in your mind. It's not in your resources. Faith, once you can get faith in your thought pattern, everything will attract to you. Faith is a magnet for money. Faith is a magnet, come on, for breakthrough. Faith is a magnet for progression. Oh, you got to understand this. That's why the Bible says without faith, works is dead all your works are dead you won't see anything you won't see it you won't experience it so i want to challenge you and encourage you this morning position yourself get in the right place for the launch this is your launch time now it's up to you when you're willing to receive what god has said he says let down your nets and some of you don't even realize the launch begins when jesus gets in your boat <laughs> what is your boat your boat is your vessel your boat is your life. Your boat is your familiar. See, when you let him into your boat, then he can take you somewhere you've never been before. See, a lot of us have said, we've been there. We've done that. We've got the t-shirt. We wrote the book, right? <laughs> we've done all of these things. But until you let Christ in your life for this season, until he is in your vessel, your vessel is the thing that is taking you somewhere. And so you've got to acknowledge, you've got to get this revelation that he first got in the boat with me. Oh, you got to know this. He hasn't left you nor forsaken you. He hasn't given up on you. No matter where you don't see him, he is with you. He's with you in your low place. He's with you in your Lodabar. He's with you in your Jerusalem. He's with you in your uttermost parts of the world. You got to understand this this morning is anybody getting this today your faith will begin to cause things to happen in your life let me tell you but you've got to let down your nets see your nets are oh my gosh are the things that you washed out that you gave up on some of you have been saying i've been doing this for five years i've been doing this for two years i've been doing this for 10 years i've been trusting god and there aren't any results why because it was not your launch time I'm going to tell you today, what is, the, what is your launch time? Write this down. It's your send off. What is it that you're sent? Great morning, everybody, as you're tuning in. Oh, this is good. Let me tell you this today. What, what is your send off? What is it that you need to send off? Hmm. There are some people, places, and things you need to send off. Uh, there are some things you need to send off of your vision. You, there are some people you need to send off of your life. There, are, Come on. There are some mindsets and ide ideologies you need to send off of your mind. It's to launch out is to send off. What is it that you're sending off? It's the release of everything that has brought decrease and hindrance and stagnation and all of that frustration in your life. Send it off. Send it off. Send it off. Don't set it off. Send it off. Say bye, Felicia. Say, uh, I don't. Uh, if there is a Felicia on here, I'm not talking about. You know what I'm talking about, right? Say bye bye. You need to say bye bye to lack. 
Send off lack. Give lack a send off in your life. Give poverty. I'm this morning. I'm praying in Jesus' name concerning 1485. Huh? Buy everything on my address, everything on my family, everything on my children, everything on my bloodline, everything on our businesses, everything on our ministry, everything on my body. I'm sending off sickness today. Get out of here. Be gone. Send it off. Send it off out of your vision. Send it out. Matter of fact. Send off every negative, ill-spoken, lacking word off your tongue. You need to you need to say bye-bye. Bye-bye, baby. Just go ahead and, and say bye-bye. Just say bye to it. Say bye to every hindrance in your life. Say bye to everything. See, some of you don't realize you will never in you will never add a zero to your economy until you say bye to lack. You come on. Every every season that you know how to say bye to will add a zero. You need to stop saying bye to six digits and you need to say hello to seven. Hello, somebody. And that's why we get the send forth. Send forth the word. So you got to send off that negative and send forth the word. Sending forth the word goes before you. In other words, it prepares what you're launching for. He stopped speaking so that you can send the word. I'm going to say it again. Good morning, everybody. Welcome into this broadcast. I'm going to say it again. Send the word. The promises of God are yes and amen. Send it forth. You need to tell yourself, I may be jacked up today. I may be addicted today. I may be afflicted today. But I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to stay right here. I've already told 2020, bring forth my harvest. I've already told 2021, I will live and not die, but declare the works of the Lord. I've already told the end of my thing is going to be better than the beginning. I'm glad I'm not where I used to be 20 years ago. I'm glad, I'm, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm glad I'm not where I am when I started in my journey with the Lord. I'm glad I'm not where I am. Come on. David said I was young, but now I am old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Come on, my gosh. So when you understand this, there are some things when you are a child, you do childish things. But when you become a man, you've got to put. So in every season of your life, you've got to watch this. You've got to send off the word and the law of progression. You've got to say this. I am the head and not the tail. I'm above only and not beneath. God has given me power to get wealth. He's doing exceedingly and abundantly above all that I can ask or think according to the power that works in me. That power is that power is that power is the work. Good morning, Sam. God bless you, Sam. It's your time to launch. Oh my gosh. It's your launch time. Somebody say, he's counting me down. The countdown is the warning for hell that you won't be in the same place that you've been. The same mindset, the same posture, the same walk. How many of you know your faith, somebody's faith is about to go from faith to faith and from glory to glory. Somebody's about to, um, I said it the other morning, you're experiencing quantum leaps today. Why? Because you're realizing that I'm going to send forth the word of God. When the word of God goes before you, it makes crooked places straight. How many crooked places in your life? Do I, Am I talking to somebody? I'm not talking to perfect people this morning. I'm talking to the jacked up, messed up, twisted, confused, maybe don't know what tomorrow may bring, second guessing the word of God. I'm talking to some people. He said, I didn't come for that which was saved. I came for that which was lost. Are there any lost people? The lost people need to know. If you've been lost and been tossed and topsy turvy, you've been in a storm. And let me say you this. Let me tell you this this morning. If you've been lost, you're about to be launched. I'm gonna say it again. If you've been lost, if you uh, if you've been lost, you are about to be launched. You're about to be launched in the place where the devil in hell can't stop you. Hell, the, you need to say it. The, let me say this. Send forth this word this morning. The gates of hell shall not prevail against me, my house. My marriage, my children, my family, my business, my properties, my, oh my gosh, my ministry, the gates of hell. Come on. Hell is not enough to come against. Why? Because I'm sending forth a word that will stop hell in its tracks. Oh my gosh. Just go on and tell hell no. Yes. Just tell hell no. Listen, you've got to get ready because your launch time is about to send you. Come on. It will send, it will send off. It will send forth. And it will send into orbit. Do you know the to send into orbit is a sphere of activity? Let me tell you, when Jesus told Simon to launch into the deep, he was saying, move forward into a sphere 
of activity. Some of you have been in, in a sphere with no activity. Oh my gosh. I, I, I think I'm going in too deep this morning. Some of us have been in a place with no activity. Well, I'm going to tell you the countdown is on. You're about to see activity, baby, and it's not going to be demonic activity. I declare sometimes we get so caught up in the demonic. Let me tell you, there must be heavenly activity in your life. You need to tell hell that there is heavenly activity. There's a sphere of activity where angels, good morning, Stefan, God bless you, sir, where angels will obey and move according to the word of God. See, a sphere of activity in your life is where you see angelic activity. And so this morning, I call from the four corners of the earth, angelic activity in your life, that your your day will have a sphere of godly activity. You know what, what, what your sphere of godly activity looks like? Favor. You know what your sphere of godly activity looks like? Signs, wonders, and miracles. You know, come on, when Jesus came into a sphere... There was always godly activity. Mm -hmm. Who is this for this morning? This is a good teaching today. Yes, James, this is a good word, brother. This is a great word. Let me tell you this as I end. I'm going to tell you three words that you need to understand and need to know. Right? I gave you three. I gave you three activities. Send off, send forth, and send into orbit. This is your launch time. Now, let me give you three things that's going to happen for you. This is what needs to happen to you today. Watch this. I want you to know your launch time. Why is it your launch time? Because God said these three words to me. He said, inaugurate, originate, and innovate. I'm going to say it again. Inaugurate, originate, and innovate. This is your season, an inaugurative season, a season where God wants to inaugurate. In other words, begin, launch, and then he wants to originate. When you become an original, watch this. Anything that has, that's an original, how many of you know there's a patent? Some of you have been in the season where your patent has been pending. Oh my gosh. This is a revelation right here. Good morning, Jacqueline Patterson. God bless you. It's your launch time. I want to say it again. Good morning, Deborah. It's your launch time. Good morning, Nakia. Some of you have been in a posture or a place where your patent has been pending. Well, I'm going to declare to you today. It's your launch time. Your patent is about to be set in order. That's why God said inaugurate, originate, and innovate. And so we want to declare that innovative things will begin to happen in your life. That is, you are in a day for your inauguration, your inauguration, right? That you experience the origination of your day. Your originate, when God originates in your life, it's the original mandate for your life. And he says also, innovate. Your launch has come so that you can innovate. I pray this morning for all of the creatives. If you are a creative, if you are an influencer, I pray this morning that you will begin to see an innovative way of prospering and even overcoming. An innovative way. If you're a preacher, if you're a minister, an innovative way in changing and transforming lives. This morning, I declare that your Friday will begin a new opportunity for you Not ending your week, but come on, inaugurating, originating, and innovating. I love those words this day. We declare, where is your deep? Launch out into the deep this morning. This is what the scripture says. When he had stopped speaking, he said to you, put your name there. He said to James. He said to Samantha. He said to Kathy Wanza. He said, launch I don't care who you are, where you are, what your age is, what you do, if you're in ministry, if you're not. But I declare it in Jesus' name that you launch. Come on, launch the clothesline. Let me speak to the creatives. Launch the design. Launch. The, if, come on. Some of you have been trying to find an apartment and God is trying to get you to find the land to build the house. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, who am I talking to? Some of you don't even realize God wants you to, come on, he wants you to not rent the apartment, but he wants you to build the house. I don't have time this morning. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning, everybody. As you're tuning in, Vivian, Cassandra, welcome this morning. I'm going to say it again. Write the book. Produce the movie. Produce the track. Write the script. Who is it? Print the design. Design the clothes. 
Paint the room. I don't know who this is for, but I'm telling you, any creative this morning, I pray that God will stir inside of you a creative ambition that you will begin to innovate in your life, that it will change your life forever. Oh, be blessed this morning. We declare that you are blessed and not cursed. And I pray that as you go into this weekend, that you be safe, that God's hand be upon you and your children. We're praying, Claudia, with you. We're believing for Papa O. And we thank you, God, that he is healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. Papa O is healed. We pray right now that no weapon formed against you, your family, your children, your assignment, it will not prosper. Every gift that's inside of you that's laying dormant, we call it forth out of your belly. We declare that it manifests now that the promises of God will visit you and obey you and, and come on and obey your hunger and your thirst. And that the word says the promises of God are yes and amen. So we say amen to your season for launching, that you launch into greatness, that you launch into another place of dimensions and understanding that God will begin to attract to you those things that is needed to take you higher. How, how many of you know you've got to be, you've got to be, I feel this in the spirit this morning. Somebody has got to be bold. Remember, you've got to go bold and go live. Somebody this morning is getting a bold stirring in them so that you can begin to what? We're going to say it again. Inaugurate, originate, and do what? Come on, say it. Innovate. We call that forth out of you today, that everything that God has put in you from the foundation of earth will come forth now and bring forth, bring forth provision and over, above, and beyond. Well, we bless the Lord. We thank you this morning uh, for tuning in. Listen, if you want to, somebody ask me, how do we sow? I, I, don't, I don't come on here uh, just for that, but I want to give you an opportunity. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry, um, go to our website, thebranchwc.org. I don't have the information to put up. Somebody said, well, how can I sow? I do want to give you an opportunity. Thank you for those who are willing uh, to sow into this ministry. This broadcast is not free. It does cost us uh, for a subscription for software to do this. And it does cost us for the internet speed so it doesn't lag and slag and it can be clear. So if you want to be a blessing, sow into the Branch Worship Center. Not uh, Go to the website, thebranchwc.org. Look, I want you to have a fantastic Friday. If you have any prayer requests, send us your prayer requests. We're praying with you. If I haven't acknowledged your prayer requests openly, forgive me. If I haven't called your name, forgive me. Uh, but we want you to have a great day. Look, this is Pastor Jay. We do this uh, because we care. We do this because we are obeying the word of the Lord uh, to encourage you day by day. We're not on here uh, to try to persuade you in any way but to Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, everything we do is about Jesus Christ. Everything we do is about him and him alone. And so the words that we give, the prayer that we pray, is really to give him glory and honor. And I thank you for being a part of this group. If you want, invest, invite, and involve somebody in Revelation Moment, Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. This is Pastor Jay. And as always, we declare over you today that your giants are defeated, your Red Seas are open, and your Jericho walls are coming down. Have a fantastic, wonderful day. If this has been your first time tuning in, thank you so much for watching us. Have a blessed day. We love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Bye for now. Shalom. Shalom.